Greetings. I'm so glad to be back with you for this week's message from the mayor's office. It's a beautiful day here in the Enterprise. The sunshine always seems to brighten my spirits, and I hope all of you are feeling uplifted too. Today, I want to start out by congratulating Brent Harrison on his new position as principal of Sarah High School. As you know, Brent has been the principal of Enterprise High School for about three years. I had the privilege of working with him when he and I both served as assistant principals at Enterprise High School several years ago. He's a very fine young man. He's done a great job here in Enterprise, and I'm sure he will do likewise down in Sarah. I enjoyed working with him through the years, and I'm sorry to see him go on one hand, but on the other hand, I'm happy for him. He has a bright future in education, and I wish him and his family the very best. Certainly, I'm thankful for the rain we are getting. We were getting dry, and really, it needed it. But it has caused some delays in our construction project at the Enterprise Municipal Airport. Of course, we are building a much needed new terminal building, which will be about twice as large as the current building. We're doing some work on the runaway. When we are finished, we'll be able to accommodate larger planes. The airport really has been getting busy here in the past few years and we are expecting more traffic in the future when the larger planes can land there also. Even after five days of rain delays, you can really see the building and the other part of the work taking shape. We are excited to get this project done this year. It's really going to put our airport on the map. To update you on the coronavirus situation in our county, the CDC is reporting 219 cases. Let me remind you that the number they are reporting is cumulative cases. The total number since testing began back in March. The NMA tells me that we are actually have 47 active cases in the county, and those people are in quarantine. I know you've heard disturbing news in the recent days from Montgomery, where the hospitals are experiencing a shortage of ICU beds. I've been in contact with EMA and Director James Brown, reports that the ICU available at the medical center and enterprise is good and that the hospitals in the entire ADPH South East District have no concerns at this time. I am concerned that the number of active cases here in Coffey County have gone up about one case per day since Governor Ivey eased the restrictions on the safer at home order. The state overall is seeing an increase of about one third. So it can't be stressed enough that we cannot let down our guard on the safety practices to help protect yourself and others from the virus. You know the recommendations and I mentioned them many times. I agree that we should wear a mask when we are in the public. If you're going to be near others, it's not a law, but it's a recommendation. But we do need to do everything we can to keep the virus from spreading anymore. I thank you for all your diligence in doing this. The city is working to adjust activities so that we can keep people safe as possible. Our Recreation Director Billy Powell is hopeful that this department can host the annual youth camp. He is working to design a good plan and we will let you know as soon as we can get the outcome of that. I would also like to mention to you about the census count which is still going on and you know uh, it is somewhat like 63.7% but our citizens have responded well, and I need the rest of you to come on board, and this is very important. 
because it gives uh, this this city as well as this county and this state a representative there in Washington. We don't want to lose. If anything, we want to gain. And uh, I am somewhat elated over what has already gone on, but we can do a lot better. So I'm looking for you as citizens to come and let's make this a 100% thing. Thank you for joining me this week. Please be safe. God bless. Have a good day and pass it on.